What's up guys, Codeforge here. Today we will be talking about scheduling methods in our applications. By scheduling I mean we don't have to explicitly call methods in our code. We can use annotations on our classes and methods like enable scheduling and scheduled. So our methods can be run every minute, every hour, every week or even every 15th day of the month if we will use cron format for scheduling. Ok, I think it's enough for the introduction so we can start coding. Ok, over here I have a very basic project generated using Spring Boot Initializer. We can create a new package in the first place, so we right click it on our default package, we select package and let's say it will be configuration. Inside we will have configuration class, so we right click it, we select java class and we'll call it, let's say, app configuration. Like this. First of all we have to annotate our class with the configuration annotation, so Spring will create a bin for this class. Now we want to enable scheduling on this class, so we will use enable scheduling annotation on this one like this and what does this annotation it is basically enabling the detection of the scheduled annotated methods we have three types of scheduled annotated methods and we have a fixed rate fixed delay and the cron expression first one which we implement is the fixed delay Ok, so let's create our first scheduled method. We will start with the annotation scheduled and in the constructor we will say fixed delay and let's set it to 3000 milliseconds for now. This method should be void so we will say public void and Let's say send message will be the signature. It will not take any parameters. To simplify things, in our method we will only display messages to the console. In the real life, methods like this can be responsible for sending some notifications to the user via WebSocket or it can be also responsible for executing uh, database queries. So basically it will behave like database job. So all we have to do over here is to system out some stuff and let's say, hey, I am scheduled method, like this. So now we can try to run it, we go over here, we click the play button on our main method and we will wait a few seconds so the application can be built and after a few seconds we can see our method is being called every 3 seconds. So it is working and that's great. So let's stop it for now and let's go back to our code. Ok, so now we want to implement method with the fixed rate. And all we have to do is to change this parameter over here in this constructor of this scheduled annotation. So we set it to the fixed rate. We'll see no difference because our code is very simple and it will be executed very fast. But let's try it, so we click the play button over here and after a few seconds we can see that our method is being executed every 3 seconds, so it is working. The basic difference between the fixed rate and the fixed delay parameter is that in the case of fixed rate, the time spent on the execution of the method is being counted in the time interval. So if the execution of this send message method will take 2 seconds, we will wait only 1 second more and the method will be executed again. In the case of the fixed delay, so let's 
paste it over here and fixed delay and let's change it to send different message even if the execution of this method over here will take 10 seconds after finishing the execution we will wait three seconds every time let's change messages of these two schedulers so this one will be scheduled fixed delay and this one will be scheduled fixed rate we can also set the initial delay and let's say we will use it over here so we all we have to say is the initial delay and let's set it to two seconds so you probably already figured it out that this method will be executed after two seconds delay let's check it out so we click the play button and we can see that the fixed rate is here and after two seconds fixed delay appeared so it's good it would be really hard to compute these numbers to make these methods run every few hours there is easier way to do it by using cron expressions to do it let's first copy this method from here and let's paste it over here let's change the name of this method so it will be sent message and at the end we will add cron and we'll also change the string so it will be I'm scheduled cron method. Now we want to use cron expression in our scheduled method, so we will delete this thing over here and we will type cron. Cron expression has following format. I will put it here in the comments so you can have the reference and you can also read about it in the spring documentation. So first thing is the second after that we specify minute then is hour day month and the last one is weekday now let's say we want to fire this method like the other ones every three seconds so you may think this one will work so we will put three for the seconds asterisk for the minute because we want to fire it every minute every hour every day every month and every weekday but this method will be actually fired on the third second of each minute each hour etc etc to visualize it let's add a timestamp over here so i will type local time dot now and let's use the concatenation and we will put space and colon over here okay let's also comment it out and i will fire this code and after a few minutes i will show you the output so i will make a cut over here okay i have started my code i was waiting around two three minutes to execute it you can see that our method has been fired every third second so to make it work as intended we have to put the asterisk over here and use the i believe it it's called in cron increment operator and then we put our number three now we can fire it so i click play button and we can see that our method is being executed every three seconds so this is what we wanted to achieve okay guys this is all i wanted to show you i encourage you to play a little bit with those cron expressions because sometimes it can be pretty tricky to understand when our method will be actually fired also there is a lot of materials explaining all this stuff related to the cron on the internet so you can check it out thank you for watching and see you next time